guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we have a quick guide on inflating objects in Blender. We have two ways to inflate your objects. One easy method with less control, and another that's still very easy, but offers more control. Let's dive straight into it. First, so let's get ourselves a text object by pressing Shift plus A. Tap into edit mode and type whatever you like. Go into the text properties, change your font to anything you like, or keep it as the default font. Then go to geometry and extrude the font to, again, anything you like. Now back into object mode, right click and convert to mesh. Next, we need to add a modifier. Go into your modifiers tab and select for mesh. Now bring the voxel size right down until your text is readable again. Shade smooth here if you like as well. Once done, apply that modifier. This next step is crucial to ensure we have full control when inflating objects the second way. So let's tap into edit mode, make sure nothing is selected on the mesh and ensure edges is selected. Go to select and pick select sharp edges. Now, if you head over to vertex groups in the side control panel, press the plus icon to add a new vertex group, name it, we named ours edges, and then click assign. Now head over to sculpt mode, scroll down the side menu until you find cloth filter. Change the filter type at the top left from gravity to inflate and keep everything else as is. When you click on the mesh and slide right, it will inflate. Slide left and it will deflate. If you don't want your mesh to float away, you can bring the cloth damping up to one. Now let's try the more controlled way. Undo the cloth filter we just done so we have our base model back. Go back into object mode and head over to the physics tab. Here you need to select cloth. Scroll down to pressure, enable that, and add any amount of pressure you like. We'll start with 50. Next, head down to shape and add the vertex group we created earlier. This pins the edges so the rest of the object inflates while the edges stay put. Set the shrinking factor to around minus 0.4. You can always adjust these settings to suit your model and desired effect. Now hit play to see your text. You can also refine the look and give it a smoother look by adding a subdivision modifier. Just remember this can slow things down, so it's sometimes a good idea to disable it in the viewport when working on your model. Then go back to the cloth modifier and tweak settings to get the desired effect. Play around with the pressure, maybe set it higher to 100, and experiment with the blending model and collision options. And that's it. You now know two methods to inflate objects in Blender. Experiment with these techniques to achieve the look you want. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe for more Blender tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and happy blending.